What's up, everybody? This is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box, and help from Kitty Commentary off camera slightly. Uh, we are going to be doing, like uh, we stated before, our jersey video. So we're going to start with the Eastern Conference today, and we're going to jump in next week and do the Western Conference. So this is the jersey collection that we have so far. Um, jersey collecting is one of my favorite things to do, uh, besides collecting cards and all that stuff. So I have been accumulating a lot of jerseys lately, so I figured it'd be kind of nice to show them off. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I've over, over a year, I think, since we've done a, a Jersey video, so I've got a lot of stuff. And we got our Seattle Kraken hat on, because obviously today is the expansion draft, which on that note, I do want to throw in, um, we will be doing a live video for the expansion draft, because we'll be watching it anyways. Uh, I might open up some baseball cards, got a box of baseball cards, so not hockey related, but it's for fun. And we have a new cameras, so we can try out the new cameras, so we will be doing one tonight, uh, if you guys want to stop by and uh, say hey and check out what, how everything's going, and I'm going to make predictions to see who I think they might take, we'll see. And same with the NHL draft. Um, on Friday when we're doing our live stream, we will be, I will have a prediction of who I think it's gonna be going in the top 15, and we'll see how many I get right, how many I get wrong. So I guess we'll start with the jersey I'm wearing, which is the NHL All-Star jersey, I think from 2011, I believe. Yes, 2012. Uh, it has Daniel Alfredson on the back. Uh, I've always wanted one of these years, so I picked one of these bad boys up, and since it's technically not for a particular team, and it's for the Eastern Conference, I thought I'd wear it, and then had already went over. So let's go with Boston Bruins first. We're going to go Eastern Conference alphabetical. That's how we're doing this. So we got this bad boy. Uh, CCM Boston jersey, old school, with the, the Paddington bear on it and all that fun stuff. Uh, I picked this up from a thrift store. Uh, so this came, I got a while back at a thrift store here in Chicago for like 40 bucks, I think. So that's why it's got some snags in it. But, you know, it's an older jersey. It's nice. Uh, and I still don't have a... Boston jersey for the Adidas, so it's kind of my only Boston jersey I actually have. And then I have the All-Star jersey from uh, the, the Parley, which apparently they're doing this for every single jersey this year. They're making on the Parley type jersey, so the recycled, I believe, the recycled plastics from the ocean or whatever is what they're making the jerseys out of. I really like these Parley jerseys. They're really nice. I found this one. Uh, I don't remember where I got it from, but yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with getting the, the Boston Bruins. We have quite a few of these Parley jerseys. I think I have like four or five of them total, but yeah. So this is the only Adidas Boston I have. I don't have like an actual Adidas Boston one yet, but working on it. Next up, we got Buffalo. We got our big old Buffalo Slug, or Buffalo Slug, which I still love this jersey. Um, apparently it was still like I did in the one jersey video or the history. Um, apparently it was pretty well received at first, and then it kind of didn't get that uh, recognition very shortly after. But yeah, now I got this at a local store in Michigan called Fanatic U for I think like $25, I had them on clearance. Uh, so I got that, and the cat just bumped the table. Look at that, big old black and white big boy. We look as one. And then we got the 50th anniversary Buffalo Sabres jersey I picked up recently. So I got the 50th anniversary patch. So glad to get that with the patch. Uh, they had this on the um, Shop One Buffalo sh site, I believe is what it was called. It's the website for Buffalo Team Store. Um, again, had on clearance, had to pick it up, and it has kind of sherry on the back. So I have a couple that have names on them. A lot of Buffalo ones have names on them because of being able to get them relatively cheap because of all the turnover they've had lately. But yeah, no, I do like the jersey. It's kind of cool, uh, especially with all the double hand stitch and stuff. Really nice jersey. Uh, I still want to try and get the brand new one they have though uh, with the new like texturing on the Buffalo. And then we have one of my favorite jerseys. If you guys have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know it. The 50th anniversary Buffalo Sabres jersey, the gold and white one. Uh, still one of my favorite jerseys. Uh, to come out that I own again with the textured gold buffalo on it. It's a Rasmus Dahlin one because uh, I picked this one up from I want to say it was Dick's Sporting Goods at the time. The full price is one of the few I've actually paid full price for because I couldn't find it for a long time. So I picked it up full price because I really wanted to make sure I got this jersey in the collection. And I love that it has all the different logos up in the neckline. That's still just one of my favorite jerseys for sure. Next up, we got Carolina. So we got a Carolina Adidas jersey right here. I still don't want to get the one with the double flags. I think it's uh, the black one's really nice. The old school Reebok with just the one flag. Still love that one as well. Um, but yeah, no, so I like this. And then obviously you get the, the texture on the bottom. And this is the first year because it has the button. So if you don't get the button, not a first year. Which is why a lot of these have gotten on discount because they're uh, technically outdated. And then if you guys follow us on Instagram, you've seen a lot of these, some of these as well. Uh, our Hartford Whaler Carolina jersey. Love this jersey. I have a hat that goes with it. I bought four of this jersey when I finally got it. Finally pulled the trigger on it and bought it and I'm so happy. Especially since it has the Carolina like flags in the in the neckline here in blue. 
it just yeah it just it's one of the one of my favorite jerseys especially being a jersey of the soul i did want to get the reverse ratio didn't get it um still looking to see if i can pick that up for hopefully not super expensive but uh yeah super glad i got this uh hartford whalers carolina jersey next up is gonna be really quick here uh columbus that's all i got for columbus i have one i need to get the white one and the cannon jersey i would like to even get one an updated one i was hoping to get one with a uh, Lennox on it that's what i'm hoping to do eventually once i can find it but columbus jersey is not easy to find especially on clearance that's with the panarin but even on their site like once you get like if they trade a player away uh, once they trade a player away you still don't get um their jerseys on clearance very much and they do they drop like 20 bucks it's not it's not cheap even once the player isn't playing for me more so it's hard to find a a good cheap columbus jersey especially with the name on it and sorry again the cat is walking back and forth between the desks and keep pumping it next up is detroit the one i have the most jerseys for uh so this is my old school 1990 i want to say 8 or 99 jersey for the red wings that has chris osgood on the back it is autographed by chris osgood right here it's on the, the, thir the three there you guys can kind of see it yeah it's my chris osgood obviously if you guys know been watching the channel for a long time favorite player of the detroit red wings ever right here for of hockey in general i guess now the red wings this is chris osgood my dad got this for me for for i think a christmas gift one year so yeah super excited about this one i love this jersey next up is a practice jersey i got a long time ago uh you got a Reebok practice jersey I uh, picked up from, I think it was told, called like Tuttle Hockey here. I don't know. It's a place in um, Schaumburg where we used to live in Illinois. Uh, they had it on sale. I think it was like $50 for this thing when I first got back in hockey. And I got Gustafson put on the back. So Jonas Gustafson, I got put on the back of this jersey. Uh, and it's a cursed jersey. So uh, fun story. Every time we've worn this at a game, uh, either me or my mom or my sister, they've lost the game. So we don't wear this one very often because it's a cursed jersey. Next up is our very patched out jersey uh, from past, I want to say it was like 2010 is when they adjusted it, or 2009, where they moved the logo up. I didn't know that when I put this patch on there. The lady at the store told me that, but this should be on this side. Oh, well. So this is one of those jerseys that it's a little bit of an eyesore for me because it's not technically right. But it has a 2008 patch on it, the Captain C4 Nick Lindstrom. We got this on sale. I think we originally got this for a drunk hockey mom, me and my dad, because they had it on sale at Fanatic U. And then I picked up the Mr. Mr. I for um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Illage there. And we put the 100th anniversary patch on this because Nick Winston was one of the top 100 players in NHL history. So I kind of wanted to patch this one out. I wish I would have taken off. Wouldn't have done this, but I did that first. So, oh well. And I'm not going to remove it. It's, too, it's been on there for too long. It's too much a part of it now for me. Next up. It's Kitty Commentary's Red Wings jersey. Her <laughs> Reebok with uh, Dylan Larkin on it. So it's her Dylan Larkin Reebok jersey. So. I got this one from my dad. Yes. And uh, he actually had gotten me one and then uh, one for my mother for Henrik Zetterberg when he was captain as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't get any special patches. Um, but shout out to dad. Yeah. And I was thinking about getting a C put on this for her, but technically that would be wrong because he wouldn't even come captain until this past season. He was not and this captain is, yet. Yeah, this is from uh, towards the beginning of his career, so when he was still a rookie, so we, uh, you don't put patches on that. First year. And I'm very, very picky about placement of patches. That's why again that Lindstrom one is so up to me. But yeah, no. So we got one of I think the past three captains. We're just missing Eisman and Gordy Howe, and uh, what Ted Lindsay and a lot of the older ones, but. Pretty much, uh, again, once we get an Iserman, we'll have the last three captains in the Detroit Red Wings. Next up is one of my favorites as well for the Red Wings, the Centennial Classic jersey. So that silver wing. Wish they would have done that for the reverse retro because that was just a horrible jersey. Um, but yeah, no, so super excited about this one. I remember saying this is probably one of the last Red Wings jerseys I was going to buy uh, for a long time because, again, it's just it's just it's an amazing jersey, especially, again, with the, all the different Stanley Cup wins around the neck of the, the uh, shoulders here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah. So you get all 11 Stanley Cup championships around that. And um, it didn't come with a patch, so I had to go and pick up the Centennial Classic patch and put that on there. So yeah, that was just yeah, one of my favorite jerseys right there uh, for the Red, Detroit Red Wings. And it was supposed to be the last one I bought for a while, uh, but then I came across this bad boy. Uh, it's a Zetterberg jersey and Adidas uh, from Fanatic U. They had them on clearance. Uh, after he retired, they put them all on clearance. 
So, I mean, I got this, I think, because I had a coupon and it was on clearance, I think I got it for like $35 or 40 bucks for this. And again, I can't, I couldn't pass on a Adidas Zetterberg jersey <laughs> for 40 bucks. So that is why I picked this one up after that one. But yeah, so that is uh, that is our Redman collection. Next, we're going into the Florida Panthers. So we got one of their ones right before they switched over for uh, Adidas. So this is still the best logo. I hate, I don't, I don't like the new logo. Sorry, sorry, Florida fans. I don't like the new logo. I like the Jumping Tiger, or Panther, not Tiger, jeez. The Jumping Panther is still, I think, the my favorite logo, the most iconic logo for it. And I love the coloring. Uh, the, can I see the, the patch there with the stick and the, the palm tree. But no, I love this jersey. I had to get this. This is my first Florida jersey. It's right here. I picked this one up when I first started getting into trying to get one for every single team. And I had to get one with the Jumping Panther on because the new one's to me. On that note, we got, ooh, we got some pulls in these. Again, shoot up or something. Um, but anyways, the Florida Panthers, uh, their new logo, their white jerseys. I found this on the Panthers team store, which is again, where I get a lot of my jerseys are from the team stores so when I go out on clearance, especially in the off season. Um, I want to get this because I have the 25th anniversary patch I want to put on there and the dog is barking at something. Don't know what she's barking at. What else is new, right? But no, um, no, I had to get this because I wanted to get that 25th anniversary patch put on this one. And I'm hoping to get the red one to put Spencer Knight on it uh, from Cool Hockey one of these days too. So that, that'll be when I get the red one. So yeah, there is that. We know that key commentary run across and go check the dog. Because <laughs> she likes to flip out at nothing. She's still not used to the city life. So people walk by our front window and it flips her out every single time, especially if they're talking loud. Yeah. But anyways, let's get into this one. So the reverse retro on the Florida Panthers. Again, had to get it. It's my favorite logo. It's Adidas, so it's much nicer than that Reebok replica. And it's just, yeah, I just, I love this jersey. I was so excited to pick this one up. Uh, I think I got this from the Florida team shop as well. Um, yeah. Like you come here and walk back here. Well, bam. Um, and yeah, I know. So I was super excited to get this one as well. I think I paid full price for this one too. So again, only two of the jerseys up to this point that you've seen, I've actually paid full price for any of them. I, I try to get all of them on clearance. So yeah, anyways, love this jersey. Probably won't put a name on it, but yeah, I, I love the reverse retros. They're one of the ones I do like. I've been collecting them for a while. Next up, Montreal. We got the 2016, I believe, Winter Classic for North Rockley with the, the suede on there. So or the, the fabric uh, C on it. So I don't wear this one very often, but again, got this one on sale. Want to get the, the, the patch for the, the, the Winter Classic put on there. But yeah, no, I'm super excited about that one. And then yeah, that's for their original logo with the James of the World logo and all that stuff on there. It feels like felt. Yeah. Yep. No, still an awesome jersey. I'm so happy to get this one. I would love to put like Price or Subban on this one, but I don't really plan on putting any names on the back of the Reebok anytime soon. Next up is our one that you guys have seen me wore a few times if you watch some of the live streams. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. Tons of fur on these. <laughs> Adidas jersey. Um, yes, so it does say it's in all in French. Again, I apologize. I don't know exactly what that says. But uh, it is all in French, which is still just cool. And I do like the L and H instead of the NHL because it's the French home, uh, the Montreal Canadiens home jersey. And I do want to get a Stanley Cup Finals patch from this year, the French version, and put that on one on this one as well. Because I still think it's a great run, even though a lot of people are like, oh, they shouldn't have been there. They they were. They beat teams that should have beat them. It was an amazing run. They haven't been there since 93. I definitely want that Stanley Cup Final patch put on this. It was just an amazing run to watch this team go on. So, yeah. And then this one, <clears throat> definitely one of my favorite jerseys as well. The Centennial Classic jersey for the, the Montreal Canadiens there. Uh, I believe because they did Ottawa in Montreal played in the Centennial and they had Toronto and Detroit, I think, if I remember correctly. They put all four of those teams played in the Centennial type game. And this is what they did. So it's like the Detroit one, uh, except for it's Montreal, so it actually has a silver uh, trimming on it. The H is all in silver, the L and H again. And then they have all their Stanley Cup championships, um, the sleeves, just like the Detroit Red Wings one. So yeah, it's a little big on me. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's 54 and it's a little stretched out. Uh, I got this off of some seller off of one of my, the, the groups I'm a part of on Facebook. And this one has, again, the, the patch on it in French, which again, I do love. I, I just, I love the silver and white jerseys. They're so nice. More teams should do it. 
Next, we're into the New Jersey Devils. So we have our Reebok replica one right here of the New Jersey Devils. Good old one. I do want to get a 2014 uh, Seneca Finals patch for this eventually, uh, because I also went to the Seneca Finals with good old uh, Kovalchuk on the back. So we got a Kovalchuk jersey again. This was on full moon jerseys. I got some of them from there. When I was first starting out collecting jerseys. Uh, they were dirt cheap for Reebok ones, so that's what I got. So next up, we got our Adidas New Jersey Devils jersey. So Again, pretty much the same thing as the other one, except for just a little bit nicer because it's an Adidas Authentic. Obviously, the years it won't stay on a cup of the neckline, and this is a Taylor Hall jersey. I got this thing for like $35 through the Fanatics website because it had it on sale plus a coupon code and free shipping. It was just, yeah, dirt cheap, so I was like, I, I have to pick that up. Uh, and the same thing with this one because they, they had this on there too. The third jersey they used, not for very long because I believe they lost almost every game they wore it in, but the the green and red New Jersey color one, Adidas, again, great design. I did not get the reverse retro that was all green with red. Would love to get that eventually, but again, that's the beauty of this. I still have things to hunt down. But yeah, I do love this jersey, especially because I have a hat that matches this, so I love wearing it out, and it's one of the gaudiest things. Uh, not as gaudy as the Arizona Cephalcy, but it was one of the gaudiest jerseys and cat combos I could come up with, and I love wearing it. And it is also, again, a Taylor Hall jersey, so I got it for dirt cheap, again, like 40 bucks for this jersey. I mean, you can get a jersey that's on Adidas Authentic for 40 bucks. Definitely worth it. Next up, we got New York Islanders. I got this one from Kitty Commentary. I don't remember where she got it Macari. from. From Macari. Uh, again, it's an old school CC uh, starter. It's nice. You know, it's a starter jersey. So it's a little older uh, jersey. One of their, their older ones from the, honestly, it looks like from probably the, the early 90s. But this is the first uh, New York Islanders jersey I got. Love this jersey. Again, it was one of the first gifts Kitty Commentary got me as a jersey. And then we got the Adidas New York Islanders. Um, if you can't tell, there's a C there, so you probably know why I got it, because they're cheap. Uh, I don't even remember where I got this. It might have been through Full Moon Jerseys where I got this one, because, again, they had them on sale for dirt cheap. But it was John Tavares. I know a lot of New, Jer uh, New York Islanders fans don't like it. They burn jerseys and all that stuff. I don't get it. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, I'll take a cheap jersey any day of the week. I don't care whose name is on it. So... Again, yeah, beautiful jersey. I like the colors, orange and orange and blue. I love orange on the jerseys. I know some people don't like it. I really like the orange on, uh, on the jerseys. I wish more teams would do orange. And then we have the NY jersey that they went with, which I do like this one too. It's, it's simple. I think I like the logo better than the other one, but this one's relatively simple. It's clean. Uh, it does have the, the Long Island on the neckline there, which I do like. Uh, and then Islanders on the back. And I don't remember where I got this one, honestly. Um, Trying to remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember where I got it, but I know I got it on sale from somewhere. But yeah, I was like, okay, sure, I do need another New York Islanders. It's not a John Tavares one, so uh, there you go. That's why I got this one. And then this one we picked up recently, uh, the Islanders Reverse Retro, which, again, a lot of people didn't like. I thought it was just as bad as the Red Wings at first until you look at it and it has the same color scheme as they did during the 80s. So I kind of like that, that it's like a throwback to that, that, that Dynasty era. Uh, just again, the colors are slightly switched around, so I do like that. Um, and I had on sale on Adidas website for dirt cheap. I think I paid like eighty dollars a piece for some of these reverse retros that you're gonna see. Uh, and yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't justify, I, I couldn't pass that up. And yeah, it still has the tags and everything. Cause I haven't worn it yet, but yeah, some of these Adidas again, when you could pick them up for eighty bucks, the reverse retros, they only wore one year. They become a collectible item. And I, I've heard rumors that this might become their new third jerseys next season which again would be awesome, so it'll just get rid of the tags at the bottom so it won't say the reverse retros on the bottom, and it'll just become give me a third jersey, which again works for me because that means I already have it. Rangers. Don't have a Adidas Authentic yet of the New York Rangers either, just because it's it feels, it looks like it, it's just like this one, except for maybe a little bit cleaner, the logo is slightly different, it's a little bit cleaner looking, sure, but I already have this one, so it's it's been hard for me to justify that. I've been looking for a white one to at least have a white. I want to have like a home and away for each for each team. But yeah, so I have this one. My aunt got this for me for Christmas one year. It's for Ryan McDonough. Uh, again, possibly future CL Kraken. We'll find out later today, right? Uh, Jersey. So yeah, we got that sitting there for him uh, when he was captain of the New York Rangers. And then this one I picked up from the Adidas website, I think. I Ordered it after it came out. I pre-ordered two uh, reverse retros and I picked up two more on release. Uh, well, I tried to get three more on release, but one of them they, they screwed me on. But I got it later. I got it later. You'll see it. But this one I was super happy about the Labor, Lady Liberty jersey. Uh, 
Love this jersey. It's an actual logo. I love logos. I don't like word marks, so that's one reason I've never really been a big fan of the New York Rangers jerseys is because they don't have um, a, a logo. I love this. I think this is, should be a full-time jersey. It's a beautiful logo. It, it's it, it's New York, and I love it. And uh, again, obviously, it's a throwback to the 96 when they did the Lady Liberty jersey, and I was so excited to get this because this one's super hard to find now uh, if you uh, didn't get it already. Next up, we have Ottawa, who I've only recently picked up their jersey. So this is still an older, I guess, an older, outdated Ottawa jersey, but it's still a, like an Adidas. Uh, I think I picked this one up through Amazon. There was an Amazon seller selling it for like 80 bucks, and it was the cheapest I could find at the time, and I needed an Ottawa jersey, because I'm like, I don't have one. This was the only Ottawa-esque jersey I had at that point, so I was like, you know what, it's 80 bucks, I need an Ottawa jersey, I'll pick this up. I do want to get the new ones with Tim Stutzel on it eventually, but unfortunately, they were sold out on uh, Cool Hockey when they did their big sale for all the teams that were knocked out. They were sold out of all their, <laughs> all everything that's uh, Ottawa is sold out on their site of all the newer jerseys, so... Can't, and I'm not going to get one of these with, with Tim Stutzel on it because I didn't wear this one. And I'm a little bit of a stickler about that. It's a personal reference, but you know, that's 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 our preference, that reference. But that's what I like. Uh, next up is Philly. So we have the one from the old 90s jerseys here that we picked up from a hockey store in Michigan. I'm blanking on the name of it. Don't remember. But uh, pick this one up for dirt cheap. It is uh, the one made in Canada version. Made in Canada, Philadelphia Flyers jersey don't the Reebok it's a Reebok and uh yeah this one was autographed by Jeremy Roenick we got this autographed when we went to the stadium series game in 2019 so uh I think we have pictures up on our one of our pages I think either Facebook or Instagram uh this is the one that uh John Cockman was wearing she got autographed by Jeremy Roenick so yeah and again I always liked I like Philadelphia Flyers logo their jersey colors and gritty so Flyer fam right here and then we have this one too at the Stadium Series game. I picked this one up from one of the local shops there in Philadelphia. I told them that we came in from Michigan, that we were here to see this outdoor game because I was supposed to go to the Winter Classic. Car accident happened, couldn't go. So the Stadium Series game was kind of the makeup for missing the Winter Classic. So they gave me this one uh, at a discounted price and it is my Shane Gossespierre one. I do like Shane Gossespierre at ITC's cards. I'm hoping that he gets moved out of Philadelphia soon because it seems like he's just not going to have a spot there. So I know there's a, lot, a few rumors of people thinking he's going to Seattle. We'll find out. And hopefully he can find a spot at a different team and, and make it and make the roster because I do like Shane Goss' spear. Ever since Ghost Spear made that first appearance in his rookie year and killed it for Philadelphia, I've always been a fan. Next up, we got another parlay jersey, which is the Philadelphia Flyers one, which, again, I love these jerseys. Uh, again, I don't remember where I picked this one up at, but, again, Dirt cheap. A lot of these went on sale for a while there, and I picked these up because, again, I think they're great. The black and white. I like the black ones a little bit better, but I'll take white ones as well. So I have a couple more of those come, coming uh, down along the road. I think there's no more from this video. I think there's a couple more for the the, the, the Western Conference in the next one. And then, yeah, Stadium Series jersey. Obvious reason I had to get this one. Went to the game. We did not get this at the game because, obviously, they were full price at that point. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'll wait till they go on sale. Got one on, one on sale, and it obviously a super slide that has the, the patch on there for you. Uh, yeah, so it's not my favorite Philadelphia Flyers jersey, uh, design wise. Uh, it just again, the fact that I went to this game was just made it up. Uh, I had to buy that this, this jersey, especially when I found it go on sale and clearance. Had to get it, and obviously, it says Philly in the middle. I think the other one says pens in it. I don't know, but I do want to get the Penguins one as well for uh, that Stadium Series game because again, went there. Now we got Penguins. See, segue. Yeah. Um, this is obviously the version they wore back in 2008, 2009, all the fun stuff when they won the Stanley Cups or the back to back championship uh, situation with Revenants won 2008, they won 2009. So I do want to get a 2009 patch put on this one day. Uh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Uh, <laughs> hated watching that, but I remember calling it like World War II. Everybody said it was like World War II. They had the shirts that said that because they met each other back to back years with Marion Hosa switching teams and all that. So yeah. Obviously, this is when I first started getting back in hockey. Was it 2008? Had to get this jersey because it was on sale. I think actually at Fanatic U as well. So it was again 30. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks. So I picked this up. So it was one of the first jerseys I really picked up a while back. And then we got the Adidas version right here. So this is the one they currently wear, the black and gold, uh, old school looking one. Again, I'm not a big fan of the Penguins jerseys. I like that one slightly better, but I think it's more personally or the Robo Penguin. I do like the Robo Penguin as well. But yeah, this is the uh, Adidas I have with Jake Gensel on the back, which they had on sale. I can't remember where I got it from. 
it might have been full moon jerseys, but I know that it was really weird because I was like, oh, they have a Jake Gensel. He's still on the team, but they have it on sale. So I picked it up because I'm like, okay, I'll take I'll take a Jake Gensel for sale one. <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs. Next, uh, we have a CCM Toronto Maple Leafs jersey here. I got this from a garage sale a uh, long time ago. Uh, one of my friends at high school, uh, not friends, it's one, one of the kids I knew at high school, his family had a garage sale, went there and found out. He had this one sitting there, and I'm like, sure, I'll take a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, one of the older ones, that has Ty Dome, uh, yeah, Ty Dome, I almost said Max Dome, Dome, Ty Dome on the back of it. So, obviously, again, Ty Dome, and uh, Bob Probert had some nice, fun action together there, so I had to, I had to pick up that CCM right there. Next up, uh, <laughs> my second, my Adidas a uh, home honor pride courage Toronto Maple Leafs jersey obviously you see that A there there's my John Tavares yes I know he's the captain now I don't care I'll take the A because you want how much I paid for this jersey 50 bucks in Canada they had a model on clearance on a rack they had like two left and I picked this up for 50 bucks while I was in Canada so yeah I'm gonna take it I don't care if it has the A or not because I believe it was the season that they made him captain so I was like I'll take one with an A on it it's dirt cheap and I got my Adidas uh, Toronto jersey and next up, I got the white Toronto jersey. Obviously, being a Toronto fan, I have a lot of, a lot of the Toronto jerseys. Um, this one I picked up on eBay from Jersey Baron, maybe? I don't remember. It's been a minute. But yeah, they had these on sale. So I picked this and the, Toronto, the Montreal Canadiens jersey up. The Adidas versions off of there for like 100 bucks each. And I got my matching pair of home and away for the Toronto Maple Leafs and Adidas. Next up. Toronto St. Pat's. Uh, I think I got this one. I don't remember where I got this one from. It might have been from Ben H. Oh no, not Ben H. Sports K jerseys, I think, is maybe where I got this one. Um, but yeah, no, I had to get the St. Pat's jersey. I love the, the, the coloring, obviously, being a. My green is my favorite color. A green and white Toronto jersey. Had to get it. And the St. Pat's. Perfect jersey to wear for St. Patrick's Day, which is one of my favorite holidays. So. Uh, next up, we have Tampa Bay Toronto. Uh, I believe it should be the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now I'm thinking about it. No, I think Tampa should have been Detroit Toronto. But anyways, we'll do it here. <laughs> uh, obviously, you guys have been seeing this the whole entire video. This is the only Tampa Bay Lightning jersey I have. It's uh, it is authentic, and I've left it here. If you guys follow us on Instagram, um, I'm leaving this up here the whole entire summer to honor the fact that they won the Stanley Cup, and I'll probably do that every year for the, the backdrop. I'll probably leave the Ch Stanley Cup champion jersey on the wall with like a hat just as a kind of a fun little background for videos like this. So yeah, that's the only Tampa Bay jersey I have. I do want to get, again, the old school ones, the black ones, I think are still better. The old school black one that says Tampa Bay on it with the bolt, way better than this blue one. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this current look for the Tampa Bay Lightning, personally. Uh, and then we got Washington. Last two jerseys here, guys. I know it's a little bit longer video, but I have a lot of jerseys I want to kind of show and kind of go through the collection a little bit. So this is my Reebok jersey. I picked this one up, fun story of, uh, do fantasy hockey, and the one year I got picked up Simeon Verlamov for the Colorado Avalanche, I believe it was the one year he had like a really good season, and he killed it for my fantasy league. And I think I won either second place or third place, some of that, because of him being the goalie that nobody wanted to pick up, so I got him, and he had an amazing year. So I got this uh, Washington Capitals jersey with Verlamov on it because he saved my fantasy league that year. So I'm like, I'll pick this up for dirt cheap that I have on clearance, obviously, because he was in Colorado at that point, so... I think I paid like 40, 50 bucks for this Verlamov jersey, and it counts as my Capitals jersey, so it works. And then last jersey for this video is the Washington Capitals away jersey. So the white one right here. I've never been a big fan of the, the Washington Capitals jersey, the current one, the blue Screaming Eagle. So much, that's by far my favorite, favorite Washington Capitals jersey is the blue Screaming Eagle. I did want to get the red Screaming Eagle. I've watched a few on eBay to see if I can pick one of those up, but they're so expensive right now. But yeah, no, so this is my white one. I, believe I picked this up for 100 bucks. Uh, might have been Sports K jerseys again. I don't remember exactly, but again, I know the white jerseys are a little bit hard to come by, so when I find them, I try to pick them up for, for cheap. But yeah, so that is our jersey countdown for today. That's the, the Western Conference. Can you count during this? Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's our Western, or the Eastern Conference. Uh, again, next week will be Western Conference, and then we'll get into some hockey cards again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and again, we will be live streaming during the draft, the expansion draft tonight, and then Friday. Ooh, I got a lot of the burps today. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, we will have a live stream during the NHL draft as well with some of my predictions and fun stuff like that. Yeah, all in all, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit longer, but it happens. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys do well. We will 
do, like I was going to say, we'll open for you guys again soon, but we're not really opening cards, so we will show, show off, off some jerseys. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.